today we're going to use print and cut to make some stickers. You could also use this to make like decals that go on top of mason jars on the lids or um, planner stickers would be a great project to do this for. So I am going to insert a shape of a circle and I'm going to go up here and change the color to white because I want this to be a round white sticker with a paw print image on it. And I'm going to make this about, let's do an inch and a half. And now I'm going to go in here and grab my paw image and insert that. And we got to scale that way down. And that actually looks really good. So now I'm going to select both of these images and go align and center them because that puts that paw right in the middle of the circle. Now, right now, if we look over here, both of these list on the layers panel as being cut image. So it would cut the paw print out of the black and the circle out of white. But we want this to print on a printable sticker paper or we could cut it, uh, print it on cardstock too and just use it that way. But um, we wanted to print and then cut just the circle around the outer edge. So I am going to have both of those selected and then I want to select the flatten button. And when I do that, you can see that this turns from two separate layers into one layer. It says it's going to print this image and then it's going to cut it. Okay. So next I'm going to click make it. And so I'm just making one. I want to make several. So I am just going to use my up arrow and let's see 12 and hit apply. And now it's got 12 in there. Well, I could get some more in there. So let's up this some more. So this saves you from duplicating your sticker 20 times in your project. You can just do it on here. And if you wanted to go up a couple more and see if that still fits on one sheet, you can check it this way. See if I went up to 24, see how I fit four of them onto another sheet. So I'm just going to stick with one sheet. So we'll go back down to 20 and hit apply. So now this is all set up to print of my home printer. It's going to print these paw prints. And then when it cuts on the Cricut, it's just going to cut the circle shape around the outer edge. It's going to know exactly where it cut because the Cricut will read this registration mark that's around the outside edge. That big black mark um, is the registration mark. And you'll see that when we're cutting, how it does that. So now I will hit continue. And it's saying that I'm ready to print. So I'll send it to my printer. Now that we have printed, we are going to cut it. So first thing is for the material, I have mine set on custom and then I'm going to browse my materials and scroll down here to paper. Yep, paper. And then I'm going to want the sticker paper. And if you know you're going to use the same setting a lot, you can even star it. And then um, it'll show up right here. So that makes it easy. And then it's going to tell you to make sure you have your fine point blade loaded and ready to go in your Cricut cutting machine and press this button to start. So let's go cut. So now we put the printed out paper onto our Cricut mat and we're going to load it into the machine. And before it starts to cut, it's going to scan those registration marks, which are the thick black lines around the image. And those registration marks are telling the Cricut exactly where to cut. Because remember, we put a round circle shape underneath this paw print. So we wanted to just cut that circle to make our sticker.
So now that it's cut all the circles, we can unload it. So now, as I pull these up, these are perfect little stickers that I can just peel off of this backing and stick anywhere. I hope this video helped you to understand how to make stickers with your Cricut. If it did, make sure to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all the updates and drop me a comment. Let me know how you're going to use this tutorial to make stickers for yourself.